14 cleaning hacks you should know. Number 14. Cleaning a burnt pan. Scrubbing heated pans seem impossible to clean, especially if it's covered in black all around. You might think soaking it in water overnight will make it easier to lift the scorched area, only to find out that it didn't work. Well, there is an easier solution. Fill the pan or pot with water and add a cup of vinegar in the solution. For extensive burns, add more vinegar, put the pan on the stove and bring it to a boil for a few minutes. Then take the pan off the burner and add in two or three tablespoons of baking powder to the mixture. Let the baking soda fizzle before emptying the mixture from the bowl. After about five minutes, scrub the pan with the rough side of your sponge. You may need to wash the pan for 30 to 50 seconds thoroughly, but the burn spots should come out. If the burn spots are stubborn, just drizzle some more baking soda on top and scrub away. Repeat until you are satisfied, but otherwise this method should look good as new. Number 13. Use alcohol to remove stains on microfiber. If you have a few stains or spills on your microfiber couch, regular rubbing alcohol, not liquor, can make your sofa look brand new again. All you will need is a white bristle brush. Using any colored brush that isn't white can transfer the color, so do not use anything other than a white brush. You will also need a white sponge. Just simply pour the rubbing alcohol into a spray bottle and spray the affected area and use your sponge to rub the stain away. Just wait a few minutes for the alcohol to dry. Afterward, you can use your brush to smooth the fibers on your couch and voila! Number 12. Shining Wood Furniture If you have wood furniture that needs a little TLC, well you don't have to buy any cleaning products from the store. You can make your own furniture polish that is cheap and free of any harsh chemicals. Plus, you can use the stuff you already have at home. All you will need is 3 quarters of a cup of olive oil, 1 fourth cup of distilled white vinegar, and a small plastic container. Gather all the ingredients and mix it in a small bottle or bowl. Shake the mixture before using and apply a small amount on a cloth and gently polish the wood. The olive oil helps the wood while the vinegar keeps it clean and fresh. You can let it air dry or wipe it off. Store the solution in your fridge to keep it for future use. Number 11. Cleaning a kitchen sponge. Kitchen sponges can pick up a lot of bacteria. Most of the time they're left in the sink and aren't stored properly, and we use our kitchen sponges to clean up the worst messes, which can spread bacteria to other places. A wet or damp sponge is the perfect environment for bacteria to thrive, and most kitchen sponges should be replaced every two months. But how many of us actually do that? Well, the good news is you don't have to throw out your sponges. You can prolong the life of your sponge by properly cleaning and disinfecting it. Pop your sponge in the microwave for about 30 to 35 seconds to kill any bacteria. Just be cautious when pulling it out as it can still be hot to the touch. You can also pop your sponge in the dishwasher to get it clean again. Number 10. Dryer Sheets Most of us don't pay attention to dryer sheets. Once we've used them in the dryer, most of us just throw them away. But even after they've been used, dryer sheets come in handy for other purposes around the house. You can use them to buff out those hard water spots on your bathroom mirrors, shower doors, and kitchen fixtures. You can use them to wipe your baseboards, clean and wipe away deodorant marks. You can also use a dryer sheet to soak up grease in a pan for easier cleaning. Or you can reuse them to freshen up a small room. Number 9. Cleaning Floor Tricks Cleaning the floors is a chore everyone hates. Not only does it take up a lot of time, but it's tiresome. Thankfully, there are a few tricks to make it less of a hassle. If you have scratches on your laminate flooring, you can use steel wool from underneath the sink and give it a light buff. The scratch should disappear. Carpet stains are the worst to clean, but you can make a homemade solution that combines some water, vinegar, and a few drops of dishwashing soap to get rid of those unwanted stains. Or you can use ammonia and water as a substitute. Number 8. Removing Stubborn Stains from Plastic Cutting Boards You wash and you scrub, but it seems like no matter what you try, you can't get rid of the stains on your cutting board. Well, there are many methods online to restore it, but there is one little secret that is foolproof. Use a lemon wedge. You can use lemon essential oil or lemon juice as well, but soak a sponge in a half lemon and half water solution. Then lay the cutting board flat on a table in the sun and let it sit for a day. Afterward, the stain should lift. Number 7. Cleaning Sneakers Shoes take time to clean, and you might think throwing it in the washer would zap those stains away. While it does help, it still doesn't completely make it look brand new. While there are a few shoe hacks that should help, you can make a toothpaste baking soda paste and use an old toothbrush and scrub away. It'll help get rid of grime and scuff spots on the sole. Not only is the mixture gentle on your shoes, but it's a simple fix and is virtually inexpensive. This helps to prolong your favorite pair of sneakers and saves you a lot of money down the road.
Number six, unclogging a drain. When water starts to build up and you notice that there's a strange odor, then it's time to unclog the drain. Most of us will try and use our fingers to pick up whatever we can, but it's pretty gross. Luckily, there are a few tricks that will make your life easier. The first one is using a bent wire hanger to unclog the drain. With this method, you should be able to grab all sorts of hair and gunk in the sink. When you're done, just slowly pour boiling water down the drain for an easy cleanup. Another method is using a baking soda and vinegar solution. First, mix one third of a cup of vinegar and one third of a cup of baking soda. If you don't own a measuring cup, try to get the baking soda down the drain, then pour the vinegar. Once it starts to fizzle, pour it down the clogged drain. This helps break down the grime inside the drain, and you can let it sit for one hour or overnight if you choose. Then flush out the solution with hot water. Number five, removing water rings. Sometimes condensation from glasses, mugs, bottles, and cans can leave behind a nasty whitened ring on your coffee table. Most of the time this can be avoided by using coasters, but if you have some water rings on your furniture, there is a simple solution to get rid of them without replacing your entire table. Use a hair dryer on the highest setting and put it close to the ring. Hold it there for at least three minutes and you'll notice that it'll start to vanish. Once it's completely gone, you can use olive oil or mineral oil to fix and recondition the wood. Number four, toothpaste cleaning hacks. Aside from just brushing your teeth, there are some uses for this household item that can be incorporated into our everyday lives. You can use toothpaste to remove lipstick and grass stains from your clothing. All you do is apply some toothpaste on the stain and rub it well, then rinse it off with warm water and wash it in the laundry as normal. You can use toothpaste to clean your jewelry. Anywhere from diamond rings to gold pendants, toothpaste can make it shine. Pet stains, coffee, or wine can also easily come off when you put some toothpaste on the affected area. Just take a sponge and scrub the area and rinse with water. Lastly, you can use toothpaste to clean your headlights. Just mix some toothpaste in a bowl with warm water and use a buffer pad to wipe the grime and dirt away. Number three, cleaning glitter. Making arts and crafts with your child or friends is awesome and fun. However, cleaning up can be time consuming. Well, ditch the cleaning products and grab these simple household tools instead. Cleaning up glitter is a delicate process. It usually ends up on your clothes, hands, and hair, making it a pain to wash off. Well, just use a lint roller to wipe any glitter left on the counter or carpet. If you don't have a lint roller, you can use Play-Doh as an alternative. Just press over the affected area to lift it up. You can also use a balloon and static electricity to pick up glitter or you can go the traditional route and use a vacuum hose to clean it up. Number two, get rid of lingering smells. Whether you're cooking or the garbage can is exuding a stinky odor, there are quick hacks to reduce those smells without any hassle. Baking soda left overnight on carpets can make some magic. While it sounds bizarre, boiling a pot of vinegar and water on the stove can mask smells. Vinegar is highly acidic and also has many other household uses. You can also cut an onion in half and leave it overnight in your shoe closet to freshen it up. Once the onion smell fades, so will the other lingering odors. You can use a lemon rind to deodorize your garbage disposal. Just toss it in and turn on the switch. Grinding them releases a fresh and citrus scent. Number one, using hairspray to remove permanent marker. Whether it's colored markers or a black Sharpie, permanent marker is a pain to remove and every parent's worst nightmare. You can scrub for hours on end and you might think repainting is the only solution. But this one little cleaning hack is a lifesaver. Just use hairspray. Spray the hairspray over the marker and wipe it away with a damp cloth. Not only is hairspray inexpensive, but there are also many other uses for it. You can use hairspray to remove stains on your clothes, and you can use hairspray to repel static on your shirt. Subscribe for more videos.